Welcome to State of Tech. Let's take a look at how to launch Bigsby from your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Now you can actually click the Bigsby button on the left hand side of your device right below the volume rocker, but I really can't show you that on this screen. So what I can do is actually on my home screen, swipe over to the left and it's gonna launch Bigsby. Now what this will do is kind of give me some cards based upon my feed, say my activities, my reminders, my calendar, my contacts. It'll even show me recent pictures I've taken. It's showing me images from Giphy, my Twitter feed, top news related items, my weather, and I can even get my Samsung themes. And once I reach the bottom, all I have to do is just swipe back up. Now this is kind of reminiscent of Google Now if you've ever used that with the card feature. So when I ever have anything that happens that's important, it'll show up here in Bixby and I can get that directly related on a card. Now if I'm done with the card, what I can do is tap in the top right hand corner of the card, the three little dots, and actually either pin the card to the top, hide it for now, or do not show again, which will not show any information from those cards again. So I'm going to go and hide for now, and you see it hides that, and then brings up my other information down below. Now currently, in its current state, Bigsby doesn't have any voice commands. The Samsung says this is coming later on in a software update, but right now, basically, Bigsby is just cards, and it's going to allow you to come in here and read those cards. But Bigsby support later on with the voice commands will allow you to basically do anything on your device with a voice command. Say, turn on your Wi-Fi, turn on Bluetooth, call someone, text someone, open an app. So Bigsby will get better as time goes on, but right now it's pretty limited in what it can do. And even coming into the settings, you can see what cards will show up. So hello Bigsby cards. You can show from all apps or just the apps that you've selected. So I'm going to go and show all apps. And these are all the supported apps. Same thing with Hello Bigsby on the lock screen. I can show all apps on the lock screen. Samsung Interactive and Customized Services. So this will give me information on where I am and how I'm using my phone. Any supported apps. So I can see all the apps that are supported and I can download them from the Play Store or the Samsung Store. And right now you can see that the app support is very limited with Bigsby. But again, future software updates could remedy this. But right now, I just don't see Bigsby being all that useful. And actually what I'm going to be doing is tapping on my home screen, swiping over to the left, and just shutting Bigsby off so that way I can no longer access it from my home screen. But if you do happen to find Bigsby useful, go ahead and leave that on. You can always use the Bigsby button to actually launch Bigsby or just swipe over on your screen. And now one other bonus of Bigsby that I thought was kind of cool is if you open up your camera, you can actually do Bigsby shopping. So down here in the bottom left hand corner of my camera, I have a Bigsby button. And this will actually point the camera at an object and try and scan it and let me know that it's either an image or shopping. I want to go shopping and we're going to see if it can pull it up. So with that one, unfortunately, there were no products found, but let's go ahead and see if I can point it at my mouse and see if I get some better results. So you see with that one, it was actually able to read the Razer logo on my mouse and kind of help me pull up some other products. It's not the mouse that I'm using, unfortunately, but it is at least pulling something up with this one. So this is kind of a work in progress as well. And it's showing me stuff on Amazon. And if I did an image search, it's just going to try and pull up images that have that Razer logo. But unfortunately, again here, that's not really what it's doing. So you can kind of see that Bigsby is hit and miss right now at the moment. It is definitely in beta, but if you want to use it, it can be somewhat useful for certain things, but I just find overall that tapping and holding on my home button to bring up Google Assistant is a far more useful feature, at least for me. So that is how you use Bigsby on your Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech. Give us a thumbs up down below to let us know that we're doing well, and we'll see you in the next video.